Blended in black, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're blended in black. <laughs> Single dad, Lil Webby, recently caught his teenagers in a quite compromising position. Come upstairs. I catch them three, all three of these motherfuckers, all three of them in the bed with a little girl. Now, initially when the video came out, we all thought the little boys were in the bed doing something inappropriate with the little girl. They wasn't doing nothing. Everybody had their clothes on. You know, been being bad kids. It's 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. Webby did clear it up for us on the TMZ interview. He said the kids were in the bed with their clothes on. But still, it's a really bad look. After probing the kids for a few minutes, they refused to give him their parents' information. So he did what any loving dad would do. He went to the internet for help. The other day, I woke up saying y'all were throwing a party. They had a party going on. They had three white girls in this mother, three white girls in this motherfucker. As a family coach, I can tell you that the majority of my clients are going through drama because their kids are in the terrible teenage years. I promise you, Jill, that my your life is finna change, bro. Life finna change for you, boy. I promise. But yeah, man, let me let me try to get some parents' number and shit out. I'm out of here. Let me try. Well, no, I probably shouldn't. I ain't gonna even get out of here. Cause they ass already tried to run out the motherfucking house. And just, no, don't get to running. Don't run out this motherfucker. Now, we all did some pretty crazy things as teenagers, but we didn't have Big Brother watching. I actually take no issue whatsoever with him recording their interaction with the kids. One thing we know is that people can be manipulative, and these children and or their parents could have been manipulative. Who knows? Webby could have been sued if the story got twisted. Don't let them run away from this house. They could know. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm not about to let no kids run away from this house. They can go say anything. We are already being sneaky here. All of them. I'm talking about my kids and that. Go get them and bring them back here. The problem arises in the fact that he decided to go live and post his video on the internet for all the world to see. Like, man, what's y'all parents' number? What's y'all parents' number? What's y'all parents' number? What's y'all parents? He done put a, a hood over his head. Man, bro, that hood ain't gonna do nothing, man. What was a boneheaded mistake by some reckless teenagers now turns into something that's gonna probably follow them for the rest of their days, for at least, well, at least for high school. Should they be punished for what they did? Absolutely. But should they have been publicly humiliated? Nah, I don't think so. That just wasn't really necessary. We live in a time where most of us take our grievances to the internet. But if you're ever in this position, I'd advise you to keep the video just in case you need it for evidence, but don't post it. Currently, Webby's kids are enjoying their punishments with no doors, no cell phones, no gaming consoles, and no privileges. What? 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 Man, I took all the, I ripped the doors off the room. They don't have doors no more. Oh my God. In, <laughs> oh, the, no, in their bedrooms, no, you ripped no. off the doors? Man, I don't know what their parents did to them. I mean, but I know my kids, we, and we still have some more punishments and stuff to go across. <laughs> Who's to say one of Webby's sons didn't want to run for president one day? Now we're all going to remember them for this. And one little girl in the bed. Girl, that's crazier than a motherfucker. You better stop. You better stop. You better stop. Praise the Lord. You better stop. But and to the little girl in the video, God bless you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and follow. If you need help or support or you just like to read, then please check out my blog at blendedandblack.com or if you want to know more about me, you can find me at najahall.com. I'll see you next time.